Hello! In this video, we're going to be going over how to complete this square, or how to turn a second degree polynomial from this form into this form. Now, your first question might be, why? This form is a mess. Why would I possibly want to take this nice and clean form and make it into this? All I'm going to do is point out that x here is on its own as its own individual term, whereas x is spread out over here between these first two terms and squared, which can make it more difficult to do math directly with x as a term. I'm not going to explain exactly why you might want to do that or what other math you might want to do with it, because that's another video. But let's go directly into how to do so, how to get from here to here. The first thing that we're going to want to do is extract a from these first two terms. The reason being, if you look over here, this x plus d doesn't have a coefficient in front of the x. So if we extract the a from the first two terms, we get a times the quantity x squared plus b over ax. Why? Because we divided these two terms by a. Because if we multiply these right back out, we get ax squared plus b over a times a, which is bx. We can bring down our c and set it equal to zero. Our next step is going to be focusing on the parentheses, uh, what's going on inside the parentheses, and making a perfect square out of it. So if we have our a, x squared plus b over a, x, now we need our c value. It's something that will complete the square so that we can take the square root of it and make it look like this. I can tell you off the bat that our c value is going to be our b value, or in this case our b over a value, divided by 2 squared. So that's going to be b over a divided by 2, which is b over 2a, squared, which is b squared over 4a squared. However, we can't stop there. We added a b squared over 4a squared, so we have changed the value of this side of the equation. So we need to subtract it back out. However, however, we can't just subtract b squared over 4a squared because that's not what we added. We added b squared over 4a squared times a. So if we want to subtract that out, we need to subtract out b squared over 4a. Then we can bring down our c and set it equal to 0. Now we have completed the square inside of these parentheses, and we can take the square root. So we'll have x plus something. In this case, we have x plus either this term divided by 2 or the square root of this term. Why? Because when we have a perfect square polynomial, a uh, perfect square second degree polynomial, we know that it's either this term divided by 2 or this term squared, which is the same way that we knew that this was going to need to be this term divided by 2 squared. Hold up, let's take a second real quick and use something that we know in order to prove that, the FOIL method. So I'm not going to have b over a or b squared over 4a. I'm just going to have our x plus d squared, and we're going to FOIL this out. So our first is x times x, or x squared. Our outer is x times d, which is dx. Our inner is dx again. And our last is d times d, or d squared. If we combine like terms, we get x squared plus 2 dx, because we have two of them, plus d squared. And as you can see, if we substitute in b over a for d, sorry, b over 2a for d, we get that times 2, or that squared. So as you can see, whatever value is going to complete this, or our d, 
is going to be this divided by 2, or this, or the square root of this. So we can take either of these terms, knowing that we have a completed square, and either divide this guy by 2, or square root this one. They come out to the same thing, of course, because we have a square. So I'm going to keep it simple, and I'm just going to divide our b term by 2. So b over 2a. Set it squared, and bring down the rest of our equation. b squared over 4a plus c equals 0. Now if we start doing the substitutions that we have on this side, we can set d equal to b over 2a, which is that term right there, and e equal to c minus b squared over 4a, which is that right there. So we can write it as a times x plus d squared plus e equals 0. And that's how that works. We've gone ahead and completed the square and turned this second degree polynomial into this, where we now have x on its own as its own term and can do math with it from there. If you want to see an example of what math you can do with it, I have a video on how to derive the quadratic formula, and it's only a couple of steps from here. But there you have it. But there you have it. We've completed the square. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and thank you for watching.